guys welcome back to what's on my plate so for today I'm making turkey stuffed meatballs they're stuffed with stuffing and every bite is gonna taste like Thanksgiving they're absolutely delicious and you're gonna love it so let's get started okay so let's get started here is two pounds of ground turkey and in the ground turkey I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add one tablespoon of milk and two tablespoons of Worcestershire. And I'm going to add two eggs. And I scrambled them up. You don't have to. And so then basically I'm just going to add three tablespoons of freshly minced garlic and then I'm going to blend it all up together. Okay, so now that the ground turkey is all mixed and everything's blended together, I'm going to add a quarter cup of breadcrumbs and then I'm going to mix this up. And then I'm going to take this and refrigerate it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and work on my stuffing. So I bought a bag of stuffing. It's a cranberry stuffing and it's going to be great. So I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator and we'll go ahead with the stuffing. That's the next step. So this is the stuffing we're using. It says New England style cranberry stuffing. It's uh, 12 ounces, so we're going to make this bag according to the directions. Okay, so now my stuffing is complete. I cooked it according to the package directions, and I'm just going to let it cool off, and then we will remove our turkey meatballs out of the fridge, and then we will start assembling it. So it's a turkey stuffed, a turkey meatball stuffed with stuffing. It's going to be delicious. It could be okay, so now that your stuffing has cooled a little bit, while it's still warm, you're going to start forming little meatballs out of the stuffing. So I have a few here, and I'm going to make a few more, and I'll show you. Okay, so um, here I have another plate, and so I'm scooping the stuffing, and I'm just taking it, and I'm kind of rolling it like it's a meatball. Okay, and I'm just going to do it for all of the stuffing. There's another one. Okay. And then here's another one. Don't make them too big. And this has all cranberries in here. So good. So I'm just going to finish up all my meatballs my stuffing meatballs so we're not done yet we need to um, get the uh, ground turkey and start putting the ground tur turkey over these meatballs and this is going to be the center of your meatball I'm not gonna lie to you it's a little messy um, so every every few uh, stuffing little meatballs that you make you're probably gonna have to wash your hands because it gets a little bit you know stuck on your hands so we just need a little round ball okay so i'm just going to finish the rest up and we will continue the next step okay so this is how i do it i scoop out a little bit of ground turkey and i just kind of i put it in the palm of my hand and i try to like just make a little bit of a divot inside here like that then I grab one of the meatballs and I put it there and then I grab another piece of ground turkey and I kind of flatten it out a little I take this one and I just kind of squeeze it over the sides and then this one kind of goes on top and as soon as the um, the ground turkey touches each other it starts to just all come together and then Here's my turkey meatball stuffed with stuffing. So I will do a few more and I'll show you. So basically I just take 
the tur ground turkey and I make a divot okay and then I just grab one of the stuffing balls here and then I just add a little tiny bit of ground turkey on top after you cup it together so you cup it together and then just put this right on top and as soon as you do that it all just comes together see it's perfect so um, I am going to do a few more so I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them and I try to do them as small as I could so for an appetizer if you use this it's gonna be you know a good size um, turkey meatball appetizer but um, that's okay see this all cups here and this is a delicious this is like a delicious appetizer or just a main course so what I'm gonna do is when I'm done I'm just gonna put them into the oven um, at 450 degrees and I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and then I'm gonna serve the meatballs with the mashed potatoes and gravy and you can have some cranberry sauce on the side so this is a, a great meal for Christmas because Thanksgiving you're already having turkey and stuffing um, so it's it's a great meal it's a great meal and then if it's an appetizer just get um, a bowl of gravy and skewers and then just skewer it and then um, put a side of cranberry sauce it'll be perfect so then just cup it get a piece of the ground turkey kind of flatten it out and then it all comes together okay and I'm gonna finish up and then uh, we're going to put them in the oven. So I'm going to show you after I get them all together, I'll show you how many I made and um, how good they look. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. Okay, so I finished assembling my ground turkey stuffed meatballs. So it yielded me, it yielded me about um, 15 and I had a little bit left over so I made a small one at the end here. So um, it's about 16 meatballs going in the oven at 425 degrees. And then we will remove it from the oven and then I will plate it. I'll make, make my mashed potatoes, my gravy, and I will show you when it's done. Thank you so much for watching what's on my plate. Okay, so here's my meatballs. Here's my gravy going on top and then I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna slice it look how nice the bottom got a little crispy on in my pan but this is absolutely delicious so good. So basically...